Hello everyone and welcome to another live from the workshop and today I'm going to be modifying one of my third Doctor TARDISes. Uh, I'm going to be making a Sharda TARDIS um, or the TARDIS as it was seen in the Nightmare from Eden because it appeared in various guises but the reason uh, that I wanted to do this is because obviously we've got the black base so what this all really means I need to do is to repaint the overall TARDIS and then adapt the lamp. I've already cut the lamp off. The lamp I literally just dropped on the floor <laughs> But that doesn't matter because I'm not going to use the old lamp. Um, I'm going to put a new one on. Um, but the first things first is to give the TARDIS an overall repaint. Because I was originally going to keep it in this usual colour. But I thought it'd just be nicer if I just gave it a, a bit of a different repaint. So uh, I've got Sharda on in the background. Well, it's on pause right now because uh, I don't want the audio to talk over me. But I'm watching Sharda as I do this. So uh, let's get straight onto this and do the painting. And so here is my finished Sharda TARDIS. Uh, very pleased with how the uh, finished uh, versions come out here. It actually doesn't look that much different from the standard version. Uh, I appreciate, but obviously as you will have seen if you've watched the video, I've given it an overall uh, repaint just to take off. I tried originally to wash the tacky um, weathering off and it just, it was very, I got a little bit off but it was very difficult to get off so eventually I just decided it would be easier just to repaint the whole thing. Um, but what I liked about the um, the Sharda one is that it was a different shade of blue or at least what I liked about the, uh, the third Doctor TARDIS that I used as the base, it's a different shade of blue. So what I've tried to do here is I've tried to keep it a slightly different shade whilst at the same time uh, trying to keep it so that it is in keeping with the Sharda colouring. And this is actually more closely uh, like uh, in terms of colour to the Seventh Doctor uh, TARDIS variant we got. So all I've done is give it an overall repaint 
And then I've weathered it down on either side just with a bit of um, grey black paint. I've tried to weather it a little bit more near the bottom. I also gave the base a quick uh, go over with some black acrylic paint because the problem was that I had then is because uh, the standard box had a very plastic sheen to it, uh, where I'd repainted it, this was sort of very matte and then the base was still had the black sheen. So I literally just gave the base a very quick um, go over with some black paint just to tone that down. Uh, the lamp on top is just an 8mm LED light. Now, this isn't wired in, but it would be perfectly, uh, it would be very easy for people to wire it in. And obviously, the nice thing about that as well is this has got, it's supposed to have the sort of spinning uh, light that uh, the Charlotte Artis would have. Obviously, this doesn't have uh, a spinning light on it, but by using an uh, uh, an 8mm LED like that, it means that you could have enough um enough space or as i was saying eight well that could be 10 mil uh, i'm not i can't quite remember there's probably going to be a a caption at this point telling me uh, uh saying to you guys if i'm right or not but it would be very easy to just uh, wire that in and have all the wiring inside and then as well you could have another uh light upside down inside to illuminate the windows as well it'd be very simple to do um it's something actually i have to say i'm i when i bought this light i actually got a pack of three so i have got another one spare it might be something that i might do in future because i've never really done conversions like that and it's it's not something that i would ever really do because i when i have these on display i would never have the lights permanently on anyway they would turn themselves off um because that's what they're designed to do but it would just be i think it would make an interesting video to to make and because i don't think it would be that difficult to do in terms of converting uh, this TARDIS and then now the other thing I've done as well is I've reprinted a police box uh, sign in a slightly darker blue because well I have had to look this up online and there are there are conflicting reports over the color of the sign during the Sharda era because there are some uh, episodes where it does appear certainly to be black and even in the Sharda animation they've colored it to be black but then when you see it in some of the other episodes, particularly some of the exterior shots, it does appear to be almost a darker blue. So I decided to go with the darker blue here simply because it just looks a bit different to the plain black version um, on the other ones. And it just makes it stand out a bit more, I think. So the sign is probably, uh, depending on your viewpoint, it could well be inaccurate. But I think it looks better with the, uh, with the slightly blue sign. And all I've done for that is uh, that is literally just one that I've put together in Photoshop myself and then I've just uh, I've just recolored it to uh, a color I tried to match the color of the box but obviously where it just being printed on plain a4 paper it doesn't come out exactly but I think it's worked very well and it's certainly I certainly prefer having this on my shelves to uh, the standard fourth doctor version obviously I'm still keeping the standard fourth doctor version because I've, I'm lucky enough to have still have the box it's a little bit tattered but I've got the original version now back in its box, and seeing as the, four, the original Fourth Lux TARDIS is one of the more highly sought after original classic TARDIS, it's great to have that back in the box. But um, between the two, I actually like this one because this just it, it's a bit more colourful, it's a bit more bright, and it just stands out a bit more as a TARDIS because it's got the differences like the black base and the lamp and things like that. So. Um, uh, I certainly think that this is going to be a very popular modification for people to do with their third Doctor Tardises because it is so easy. Um, and even then, I have to say, if you're not confident about repainting your Tardis, you don't even really have to do that. If I'm perfectly honest, if you really want to do this conversion as simple as possible, all you really would have to do is to cut off the light, uh, the standard lamp, and then replace it with the LED. And then, if you wanted, maybe do the sign. But other than that, if you just cut off the lamp and replace it with the LED, you've basically got a shard of TARDIS. It's so simple to do. Um, and that was originally what I had planned to do, but I decided to repaint it um, just because I, I thought it would make a better video if I did repaint it. And I'm actually pleased I did because the weathering has come out a lot nicer and it looks a lot better alongside my other ones. But yeah, for people who, who are interested in making a shard of TARDIS, but they're not very good at repainting, just cut off the lamp, glue it, glue the uh, te 8 or 10 mil LED on there and you've got a shard of TARDIS. It works so well. Uh, but that brings to a close another Life in the Workshop. As always, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Like, for subscribe, share, it really helps me a lot. Be sure to check out the description below for a link to my Patreon. I'm doing my very first figure animation and you can get involved. There's exclusive content and rewards for those who do so and funding my Patreon in any way gets your name at the end of my videos. I salute you all and I will see you with another video very soon.